Released all the way back in 1998 and still being an enjoyable game today is Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. However, since there is no GOG, remake or remastered of the original game, running it today might oppose some challenges, not only on modern versions of Windows, but also on Linux. Hi, I'm Vortex Akerontic and today we're gonna get those pixels driving. System Setup While gaming on Linux is nowadays pretty much install and run, this does not necessarily apply to old games too. Need for Speed's Free Hot Pursuit is such a game. For running the game, I make use of Bottles, which is a tool to manage and run applications originally developed for Windows on Linux using Wine or Proton. First of all, make sure Bottles is installed on your computer. You can get it from Flatter. Afterwards, open the application and click through the first run dialog. If everything is ready, we now need to create a new environment called Bottle. For this, click on the plus icon in the top left of the main window and a new dialog should appear. First, give it a name, something like Windows 95 will do it. Also, make sure to select Custom as an environment preset. After selecting Custom, there should be a new drop-down menu called Architecture. Click on it and select 32-bit. This step is very important because it would enable us to set the version of Windows this environment will emulate to Windows 95, which will be important later on. Hit Create and wait for bottles to set up the new environment. After a short while the new environment should appear in the main window. Open it by selecting it. Scroll down until you read Settings and click on it. Then scroll down until you read Compatibility. In here there is a drop down called Windows version, which by default is set to Windows 10. Please select Windows 95 or 98 and wait for bottles to apply the new Windows version. This step is required because the Need for Speed 3 installer will quit if it does not detect a supported version of Windows. Prepare installation. Now that we have an environment prepared to run the game with, it is time to install the game. In this video I will use the original retail CD I have from back in the days, or to be more precise an ISO file of it. First of all insert the CD or mount the disk image of the game. On most desktop orientated Linux distributions, it is enough to right click the file and select mount disk image, or something similar. Next we go back into bottles and navigate from settings back to the details interface. In the upper right corner of the window there are three dots. Click on them and select browse files. This will open up the location of this windows environment in our file browser, inside the drive underscore c directory. Move one layer up and create a new directory called drive underscore d. Now copy all the content of the mounted disk image into this directory. Switch back to bottles and bring up the details view of the Windows 95 environment. Scroll down until you read Legacy Wine Tools and click it. A list should open up below. Choose Configuration and a new window should open up, named Wine Configuration. At the top of the window content there are multiple tabs. Click on Drives, Add and select a drive letter. In my case this is D, but you can choose any one you'd like except for C and Z. Then hit OK. Afterwards, select the D letter in the list above the Add button so that D is highlighted. Next, change the path shown below to dot dot slash drive underscore D. This is a directory we created earlier. Then click on Show Advanced and change the type from Automatic to CD-ROM. Then hit Apply and close the window. I recommend this step for two reasons. First of all, Bottles from FlatHub runs inside a sandbox. This means it has limited access to files on your system. Therefore, we created a new directory inside the sandbox and copied all the required game files to that location. Additionally, Need for Speed will check if the game disk is inserted. This is why we added the new drive earlier. It will emulate our game disk. Install Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Finally, we can install the game. For this, switch back to Bottles and move back to the Details view of the Windows environment and click on Run Executable. A new file chooser should open up. At first, change the file filter from Supported Executables to All Files, because Need for Speed 3 is a 16-bit game and the filter Supported Executable will only show 32 and 64-bit Windows executables. Next, navigate to the location of the disk drive you've created earlier. I recommend opening up the setup.exe for your language directly rather than the autoron.exe, as this one doesn't seem to work right. Then walk through the installer as you would normally do. After the setup is finished, a new entry should appear inside the programs list called NFS3 or similar. If not, click on Add Shortcut and navigate to the location where the game was installed to. The default location is your bottles environment, drive underscore C, program files, electronic arts, need for speed 3, NFS3.exe. Running the game. While you can already run the game after the installation has been completed, you may notice the game runs a bit unstable. This is because the game itself is very bad on multi-core CPUs, which is what most if not all modern computers run these days. 
To make the game run a bit more stable, we can limit the amount of CPU cores visible to it. For this, select the three dots next to the game's shortcut from the programs list and click on Change Launch option. A new window should appear. Enter into the first text field called Command Arguments the following. Task set dash C 0 percent command percent. This will limit the game to the very first core of your CPU. If you feel like one core is still too less, you might enable two cores by writing task set dash C 0 colon 2 percent command percent instead. This will limit the game to the first and the second core of your CPU. But be aware, enabling more cores will cause the game to run less stable. Outro. Quite a few steps to get that game running on Linux, I know. But nevertheless, I hope you found this video helpful and might enjoy some old childhood memories. But remember, playing a racer in the game was a lot of fun, but on the streets, I make sure to drive safely and responsibly. When it comes to racing, make sure you only do it on the streets. Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit. Please use your seatbelts and obey the laws of the road. My apologies, wrong game. Have a lot of fun.